Good morning. Welcome to Mish Music Now. I'm Michelle Weir, and I'm here with the lovely Claire Wheeler. She, uh, as you probably know, she is with, um, has been for 11 years with the group The Swingles, formerly known as The Swingle Singers. And um, it's so fun to get a chance to talk with Claire because honestly, there's not that many women who I'm able to ch talk with who are writing at the level that Claire is for vocal groups. Of course, there are some, but it still tends to be a little more male dominated. Uh, so anyway, we're having a, a lovely time here and Claire is with me on my front patio and we're having some coffee. Cheers. Um, <laughs> don't think British people only drink tea. It's not really true because I can... Sometimes you just need the heavy caffeine. <laughs> That's right. She's, she's learned the, the correct path of morning uh, beverages. Um, Hi, Claire. Hi. It was really enjoyable to, to have some good conversations last mm -hmm. night at dinner at, uh, over at the beach about artistry and life mm -hmm. and directions and choices, yeah. difficult choices mm -hmm. sometimes. And um, I know that after 11 very, uh, probably really meaningful and mm -hmm. good years with the Swingles, you have made the artistic choice to leave. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how uh, it's difficult for you to stay with any one thing, even in your choice of food or yes. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, for very long. And that's very interesting to me, and I know it's a brave decision. And I wonder if you'd like to talk about your being an artist and your, your creative decisions that go into uh, making a change like leaving the group or uh, changing from pasta to a salad <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, well, yeah. And I, and I don't think it's a case of the grass being greener for me. I think it is um, just a need for variety. Mm. And the Swingles was amazing for that because um, I actually studied both classical and jazz singing. It took me a long time to decide which one I wanted to pursue more. Um, and so I think I felt a lot that um, I was never seen as really one or the other. And when the swingle job came up, I was like, oh, I can use both of you know, those aspects. And so having a job where you're singing classical music, contemporary music, jazz, pop, traveling around the world, you know, writing music, singing other people's music. I mean, it was so much variety that it kept me, you know, it kept me so inspired for so long. And so now I've got the challenge to try and keep that sort of variety going. Mm -hmm. um, and that's tough, you know, but I think um, even just the variety of I've loved singing other people's music um, and having that collaborative aspect. And I've learned so much from being in that group. And then now I think I really want to push myself in my writing and see how far I can get in terms of learning and pushing myself and exploring and things like that. So. Mm -hmm. um, I think that just requires a bit of me time to really dive into that and study a little and mm -hmm. yeah so that's maybe the variety now is just some some time really developing my own skills and my artistry and you know when you're touring and traveling all the time it is really hard to find time to just have space for writing mm -hmm. you know and you're often writing to a deadline or for something specific which is also a fantastic skill um, but I think it's just time to give myself a bit of space creatively to see what what happens with that and that was what this weekend was all about really mm -hmm. to see what happens if I just focus on writing big band you know mm -hmm. and if I use that medium and oh I loved it <laughs> so you were here this this weekend um from England just a whole weekend in Los Angeles from England for a big band writing workshop That's right. yeah uh which is really cool yeah it was an amazing experience to just hear what it's like working full-time as a big band arranger um, and we got the chance to record mm. our pieces at Capitol Studios with um, the big mm. band there. Um, and that was just an amazing learning experience mm -hmm. and just really gave me the bug. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, it was fantastic to just feel inspired. You know, I've had some time off with having a baby. Um, and so I knew that I needed to throw myself out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. a little bit. So that's okay. what that was. And I'm supposed to only ask one question, but I'm going to break that <laughs> rule right now and ask you one little quick question. What's the first thing that comes to mind that you want to do in your new path right now? Like, I know you don't know all the answers of everything mm -hmm. you'll be doing, but what's one thing that you think, wow, I think I'd really like to go 
do this right now? I want to um, I want to write my own original music for larger ensembles. Mm. I really want to pursue that. Um, it, both instrumental and vocal? Absolutely. Or, mm -hmm. Definitely don't want to leave the vocal world behind. I've you know, dedicated so much time to really learning <clears throat> about vocal writing. Um, and so I want to use everything that I've learned. And there's nothing like the voice in harmony. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really want to write for instruments, mm -hmm. you know? and. Um, and just get all the different colors that you can get. And I think in my ideal world, I'd be um, combining the two. Mm -hmm. I always had this dream of having a big band um, with five voices mm -hmm. as well. So oh. I don't know if that dream that will become fun. a reality, but um, yeah, that, that really excited me in terms of writing. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks so for having me. Interesting <laughs> to, to hear. Thanks for sharing your inner uh, thoughts about, um, you know, about your direction and where you're going and I'm wishing you the best. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, come back to Los Angeles soon Absolutely. for more coffee. I will. Because <laughs> um, they don't have that in no, England, I don't true. think. No, deprived, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.